Yeah, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of sunset action today because it's getting late in the day and I'm still working. <laughs> and um, I found a recipe that I tweeted an awful lot about last week and it caused a big uproar. Everybody wants to know the recipe. So to try, instead of trying to tweet it out one line at a time, I thought I'd do a blog post about it and um, try and sort of make it on video and then tweet out about the blog post <laughs> and everybody can come look. Um, I didn't make this recipe up. I did find it from one of the people I love to follow. You know me and Mike Geary. Boy, I like, I like what that guy pumps out. So uh, when I saw this one pop up from him, um, I immediately had to try it because it really intrigued me. It's avocado chocolate pudding and uh, I thought, avocado? Eee! <laughs> that can't be good, but it's Mike Geary, so it must be. <laughs> so immediately you have to try it. I had to try uh, experimenting with it. So I made it last week, and it was delicious. So I decided to try and make it again this week. Last week I made it quite dark chocolatey, and this week I'm going to try and make it a bit more milk chocolatey, um, just because a friend of mine who I've been guinea pigging on, um, he always loves to try the things I experiment on, he, um, he asked for a more milk chocolatey version, so I'm going to try and do that tonight. So I'm going to put it on as much on video as I can without making it look really, really hacky and stupid. Um, so bear with me while we go into the kitchen now, and um, I'll put the camera on to what I'm doing, and we'll make it together, okay? See you in a bit. All right, so for starters, here's all the ingredients. Here's our avocado. Here is our almond butter and some stevia for sweetening, uh, some coconut milk, some a vanilla extract, some cocoa powder, and this is a uh, chocolate flavored protein powder. I don't ordinarily use protein powder in my real life, so um, my workout buddy kindly contributed one ingredient to this whole experiment. <laughs> so that's, that's the, the chocolate protein powder. And a pinch of salt is also called for. So those are the ingredients, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to smush the avocado into the bowl. Just for the record, I'm making a double-sized recipe of it. Um, but the recipe that I'm going to post below this um, calls for half of what I'm doing here. But um, I'm making this for sort of two people, a bunch of servings to get us through. So I'm going to make the whole avocado because the avocado is ready. So I'm just going to go for a double serving. So when you're watching me making this, to keep that in mind, it's double what the recipe is calling for, okay? All right, so now I'm adding the almond butter. Um, he calls for raw, preferably a raw almond butter, which I believe, oh, which mine is not, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, almond butter. <laughs> in it goes. Oh, um, I think I just lost track of how many I just put in there. I think one more. Keep in mind, I'm going for double the recipe here. So if you're making it and you're following the recipe exactly, don't follow exactly what I'm doing. Follow exactly what the recipe says because I'm making double. All right, so now it says to um, mash this two ingredients up with a fork, but quite frankly, I'm far too lazy for that. And I'm having tricep doms today, so I'm going for it with the, the, blend, the, the beater. So, here we go. Mmm, delicious looking, huh? All right, now it calls for all other ingredients just to be slopped in there. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, again, I'm going for double. So, it, but I'm, I think I'm going to actually go for a little bit extra coconut milk than I did last time, just because, like we talked about, I'm trying to um, make it a bit more milky this time, more mil more like milk cho milk chocolatey pudding than uh, dark chocolatey pudding. Um, it also says you could also use almond milk, and I actually have some almond milk in the fridge. So once I finish making this, if it's not milky enough, I'm going to add more almond. I'm going to add some almond milk as well, trying to make it milkier. I refuse to use any milk <laughs> uh, to make it milkier. So I'm going to try that. All right. So I'm going to put all the other ingredients in now and I'll come right back to you. All right. Almost everything's in there. I just wanted to point out one other thing. The stevia that I'm using is not, it's concentrate. It's not the little packets of stevia that you buy. The recipe calls for packets of stevia, but I'm using the concentrate. So I'm going to use the smallest little tiny bit because it, the concentrate is extremely sweet, I discovered last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit now, and then once it's all mixed up, I'll taste it, and if it needs more, then I'll add more. But I'd be very, if you're using the concentrate, be extremely careful with how much you put in there. It's going to be way, way, way too sweet. Um, even like one little pinch is like the equivalent of a tea, teaspoon of regular sugar. So, all right, we'll be right back. I'm going I'm to mix this, this, this stuff up now and come right back to you. All 
All right, so um, that's pretty much what it looks like. It's just chocolate pudding, and I'm just going to taste it. Um, yeah, it's pretty darn good. I'm going to try and make it milkier, though, for my friend. Um, be right back. All right, so there you go, finished product. Uh, it's more, a lot more milky than it was the first time I made it. Where's the camera? I'm trying to show you without spilling it. Woo! Way back here, there we go. Um, it's a lot more milky than I made last time. Uh, what I actually did was I just added all the rest of my coconut milk, and there was, quite, um, I don't know, another quarter container left. So I skipped the almond milk. I looked at the ingredients on the almond milk. I didn't like the ingredients. Some of them were a, little, a couple of additives on the almond milk. Um, so I decided against it. But um, I probably will use, use it at some point since I have purchased it. But there's a couple of things in here I can't pronounce. And there's soy lecithin in here either uh, as well, which I also don't, um, don't agree with. But anyway, what can you do? Um, so this one doesn't have any almond milk in it. Let's just take that out of the frame. Uh, it doesn't have any almond milk in it at all. It's all made with just 100% coconut milk. I also made, uh, added a little tiny bit more stevia. Um, one of the things that I've noticed is that this way it's quite a bit more runny. Um, but I've also noticed from the last batch I made that if you put it in the fridge overnight, it gets quite a bit thicker. So um, if it's too runny for you in the milky version, stick it in the fridge overnight. It'll be really thick the next day. Uh, so there you go. Anyway, so it's really delicious. It's really delicious. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. I'm probably going to make this all the time now. Um, do I have chocolate on my face? <laughs> so um, just to reiterate, Mike Geary's awesome with this kind of stuff. The guy knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. He knows how to make great recipes for weight loss and uh, to keep your cravings at bay. It's a really, really healthy um, pudding recipe. Yes, it's a bit caloric, but you won't want much. Um, it's really, really tasty, but it, uh, it fills you up pretty fast too. Uh, and it really, really does um, answer all your sweet cravings pretty quickly. So um, I'm gonna put a couple of links up here for his, to his stuff so that you guys can check him out because I said, I've said this a million times on this blog, but he really is one of my heroes. Um, he knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about, and everything that comes out of his end of the spectrum is solid, solid gold. So you'll probably want to check him out, all his nutrition stuff in Fat Burning Kitchen, and all of his uh, nutrition and workout stuff in The Truth About Six Pack Apps. So anyway, that's it. I'm throwing a link up for you now, and it's getting late, and the sunset's going down without me out there. So I'm going to um, finish up here and get back on my patio for a little while, just enjoy that, and have some chocolate pudding. Hope you guys are having a great day, and we'll see you soon.